stepping through the next arch brought us to the edge of a lake. A group of white swans paddled among the lotus pads. Soon we came upon a naked woman kneeling at the shore, one foot in the water and one on land. She held a vessel in each hand, pouring the water in her right hand back into the lake. The water in her left hand poured onto the land, dividing into five rivulets. Above her hung a large star with seven smaller stars around it. The holy ibis flew from its tree to stand beside her. She placed her vessels on the ground and stood as we greeted her. Uncomfortable with her frontal nudity, I asked if she would clothe herself. She complied by covering herself with a caftan of small sparkling stars. The seven larger stars from above fell into alignment with her seven chakras. The biggest and brightest hung a few inches above her, crowning and lighting her golden hair like bright sunlight. Her eyes were as blue as a summer sky and glittering with stars. Her face was freckled with small sparkles of light. She smiled warmly and introduced herself. I am the star of hope, bringer of renewed power, courage, faith, and strength. I know of your challenges from the last two portals, and you seem a bit depleted. My blessing to you is renewal. If you would allow me to share my energies with you, we can start now. I agreed, and she moved closer. She touched her base chakra star with her left hand and joined to my base chakra with her right, saying, This is my base chakra star. It holds the frequencies of serenity, and I now gift them to you. I immediately felt a deep, sustainable peace. She repeated her hand placements with each of our chakras, working up our bodies. This is my sacral chakra star of perfection frequencies. I now gift them to you. I felt thoroughly cleansed, and all of me, mind, body, and spirit, was uplifted and expanded into pure light. I now gift from my solar plexus chakra star, the frequencies of inspiration. I immediately felt lighter and brighter, exuberant with ideas that healed the world into one of peace, brotherhood, and cooperation. Now, from my heart chakra star, I give you complete healing. I bowed my head in gratitude as my chest released waves of green and pink lights of love. She then touched her star above her head. A spark lingered on her fingers. She touched my chest with it and was absorbed. This is a spark of hope to help you through your darkest days. I felt as if she lifted me off my knees of despair. From my throat chakra star, I give you the joy of song. Make a loving, joyful noise wherever you may be. I felt myself filled with elation. I wanted to sing from the rooftops. Now, from my third eye chakra star comes rejuvenation, so you may see the world anew. As I looked about, it did, indeed, seem new. There was hope for a new way of living on the earth a way of being one with all life in the light of the One. From the last chakra star, my crown chakra star, comes a gift of liberation, freedom, and openness. You are now a star. You have an endless supply of joy and creativity. Share your blessings without limitation, for they are divine and holy in the eyes of all. Up to this point, all of the ways between arches have been stairs of white opal with full moons surrounded by various crystals and stones. You are now in the high heavens, and the steps change to pathways at this point. I invite you onto my pathway 
made of beautiful black tekkite, pebbles that are formed by meteorites striking the earth that encourages your spiritual growth even further. My moons are surrounded by my most beloved stone, Moldavite, the glassy green stone of greatness that comes from the stars themselves to fuse with earth energies and accelerate your personal and spiritual evolution. Remember to continue to step on the moons. May peace be with you as you continue on all of your journeys. We bowed to her light and thanked her for the healings and the blessings before we left to step further into the light.